I, uh, um, I didn't get to cover the library catalog, and this probably would have helped you out. And I think um, there was a couple other people in class that this would have helped out too. When you're looking at um, foreign policy and some of these other bigger issues that are tied with history and government and something that needs a lot of background, sometimes those things will more readily come in book form. This is one of the exceptions to the rule. There's a lot of stuff that will go in the discrete analysis of a scholarly article, but a lot, a lot of times these policy things will show up in these bigger expanses of a book because essentially they're trying to present a point of view or a perspective. Maybe it's a persuasive argument. So it's something you have to be aware of. It's influenced by a lot of people's opinions, and they might be showing you something in history to make a point for something for the future. So is it scholarly or not? That's something that you might have to discuss with um, a policy expert or a, a government scholar. Um, how do you find those things, though? I, would, I did a search before. Well, here we're at the library homepage. But I did a search for foreign policy. And since we're in the United States, it infers that it's the United States foreign policy. Um, otherwise, if we were in a different catalog, it might show up with somebody else's foreign policy. And I think one of the key anchor keywords is Islam. Uh, there's a variety of things that you could put in related to that. But usually when they're talking about foreign policy and Islam, it's with um, problems related to terrorism and radicalization and things like that. But I was just taking a, a guess with this. And when you're doing research, again, you record these. So if you find that these keywords aren't the best, then there might be some other rhetoric. When you do a search in the library catalog, it will automatically dump you into articles, dissertations, newspapers, the whole kit and caboodle. Some of these are pretty good, and you can see what the format is. But again, this, like we had last night, this is a relevancy rating. If you did a search by date newest, then you're probably going to get those articles, and it's going to be all over the place. So we wanted to narrow down to books specifically. This isn't necessarily the, the best place to search for articles. Some people really like it, so if, if it resonates with you, don't be put off by that. But um, this is better for looking at books. When you go under resource type, if you click on more options, books will be one of them options. An audiovisual would be like DVDs and things like that. But if you click include, by default you're excluding everything else. Now we have, we're sorted by date newest, and we have things that have been written by foreign policy scholars, sometimes it's politicians, and you can see some of these um, have been checked out. But a lot of them are going to be ebooks. How can you tell if it's an ebook? Typically It'll have this little online access, but sometimes it'll say, oh, show two editions and formats. They're both ebooks. Why we have two licenses to the same book is a, a question for a later time. But you can see that we've got Uzbekistan, we've got um, Middle East in general, we've got names of specific people, there's Morocco. So you get to pick how you can narrow that down. You can go to um, the subject and you can see maybe there's a region. But I think it would be better for you to go through and just look at what's been published in previous years. So this one, since we're date newest, we're in 2017. I'm surprised there's no 2018s out here. But if you wanted to go in and see if, if one looked good, say for example this one on Morocco looked pretty good, if you get to this level, this one's been published a couple of times, but if you go to details, this is where a librarian has added a variety of data. So this one has like the table of contents. So you might see things that you're looking for. Um, there might be times that have caused um, so colonial period nationalist movement. You can see like cause and effect sort of thing. And you can do research just with the table of contents. Here's another one, global politics. I'm not getting things that I'm looking for. So here's Iraq after Saddam. Oh, Islam and politics. So this is what I was looking for. I was looking for these subject headings. These subject headings are added value put there by librarians of Congress and sometimes librarians here at um, the Marriott Library. Here we see the U.S.-Saudi co connection. So you can dig through these and see if there's any of them that work really well for you and go by date newest since 
This has been written on a long time. So eradicating terrorism from the Middle East, that sounds like somebody's trying to persuade us about something. So turn on your filter of, are they trying to make a statement? Is it a critical work? Are they trying to persuade us? But they might have um, some good information that you can cross-reference elsewhere. Wow, that one just goes on, doesn't it? <laughs> you get the idea. When you want to look at one of these books, well, this here's a scapegoating Islam. So it's interesting how radical Islam works. Oh, that's, that's a good keyword, radical Islam. Let's look at that one. So when you wanted to see a book, again, when you're at the library, um, you're logged into that off-campus access that I showed you. So if we wanted to look at this one, so scapegoating Islam, any one of these, there's a view it button, and it will give you those options like when we were looking at our article with that find it button, but you can also click on the title. And when you click on the title, you'll be prompted for your login. I've already authenticated. Oh man, I already authenticated. Sorry about this. Here's a demo of of the dual authentication system. Let me do the login one. Only three on my phone. A lot of these are authenticated, so have your dual authentication device ready. When you're looking at it from the interface, we have several ebook vendors, and it's going to look different on each one. What you should look for before you engage with a book is you should look for a table of contents and then go through these and see if it's something that you're interested in. And go at it from a chapter at a time. Don't try and find a book that says everything on your topic. You might just find this little contributing piece. Not all of them you um, can download. Some of them you have to look in the browser. Some of them you have to have like some embedded web app or something like that. Um, so it is what it is. Ebooks are, are sometimes restricted in their formatting. And one last thing that I want to show you is if you do find something that works really well as a keyword, but we're kind of thin in our collection, we do have a database, which is a catalog of all the catalogs in North America, give or take a few. So under research databases, it's under the letter W, and it's called WorldCat. So I want to look for radical Islam. WorldCat, first search. These academic libraries, but there's some public stuff that will show up here. So I'm going to do, I wanted to do subject. So I'm going to go to advanced search. I'm going to do subject, subject, subject. I want you to search for, I don't know if this will be a Library of Congress subject heading. Let's see what we, do, what we get. Hmm, that worked out pretty good. 412. Um, so try your rhetoric around and, and try these different things. You can see which ones belong to the University of Utah. If you found one that does not belong to us, you can um, request it via interlibrary loan, or you can just request a chapter if you find a chapter that you're interested in. So you have access to all of these. It's interesting, some of these are in French. What library is this in? Oh yeah, Montreal. Okay, so Canadian libraries show up here too. Hey, I didn't know that. <laughs> For what it's worth, hopefully this will get you started. Um, and then send me an email as you run stuck at anything. So don't labor too long on something if you're getting stuck. So I'd be happy to help.